after the Rays are off to an 0-4 start. Manager Joe Madden talks about the team's dismal beginning. Yeah, it's a streak, but their own kind of streak, right? There's high drama going on right now in the skies over Pinellas County. Dozens of baby eagles are trying out their wings, making their first flight. Cynthia Smoot and her photographer were doing a story on the Eagles, and we're in the right place at the right time for a really an incredible sight. We, 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 we never get to see that. Cynthia? We were pretty lucky, John, I have to tell you. It's a sight that a lot of nature photographers wait hours and days and months for and still sometimes never see. But for a local photographer who spent three years watching this Eagle family on T.R. Verde, the payoff was huge. We spotted her at the top of an oak tree, a precarious perch for this young eaglet, who Kathy Finnerty has been watching and photographing since the day she hatched. She was born on a foggy full moon. That's why you named her? Luna. I was here that evening and I could see the silhouette of the parents feeding her and I was, I was just, I was astounded. I was so excited. As an Eagle Watch volunteer, Finnerty monitors several nests, but she says this one on Tierra Verde is special. She started watching it three years ago, documenting their progress frame by frame. From the very beginning, where they got together, they did their dating, they got married, <laughs> and now they're raising families. It's a spectacle that stops traffic and attracts just about everybody passing by. I come by every day. I either ride my bike or walk with the baby. To watch an avian soap opera play out right in front of our eyes. Yeah, it's as the feather turns, and that's the case with all the nests, though, but yes, absolutely. And then, of course, with the drama of her managing to just tumble out of the nest yesterday, we're all nail-biting. We're all worried. That's right. After falling from the nest, Luna spent 24 hours clinging to the tree before Dad convinced her she could make it to the oak. As we watch, he flies low with a fish, enticing her to try to fly to the nest, and suddenly, she does. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Drop, drop, oh, drop, nice. drop. Oh. And there comes mom. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Yay! Do you feel like a new mom? Yes. Yes. Jubilation all around as we witness Luna's official first flight. Even Eagle Watch coordinator Barb Walker was in awe. That was the first time I've ever seen a first flight. And you're the Eagle Watch coordinator? Yes. <laughs> so th that is a rare thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> it also means someday soon, all three eagles will take off for cooler climates, just like the snowbirds. They'll go off a happy little family, and she'll probably come back next year uh, just to see if she can move back in with mom and dad. <laughs> That's not likely. But this is. Kathy Finnerty will be here, watching and clicking away. It, it means the world to me. It just really, it means the world to me to be able to do it. Now she's done it, she'll do it again. That eaglet you just saw, Luna, is the first one hatched on Tierra Verde since Audubon Eagle Watch started keeping records, so it's historic. And it's one of 43 hatched so far in Pinellas County this spring, so it's been a very good year for eagles in Pinellas County. It Sorry. certainly has. What timing. That was terrific. Thank you, Cynthia. It's a very important relationship that's about to go through the ringer.